In our last video, we have exported all the names of this workbook to a text file using a small piece of code. And here we have all the names. We have first five names which had scope workbook. This one is having sheet scope. This is also having scope of sheet two. And this is for a workbook. Now we need to transfer all these names from this text file to a new workbook. So I've created a new file it is not having any name by default. If I go to formulas, name manager, so it is not having any name which we have. But we have copied the content. Now we want that all the names which were there in that file automatically pops here in the new file. So for that, what we need to do is we go back to our previous file which had all the names and we would be writing code here in the older file only. New file we are not going to touch. We'll let our code open this file and write or create all the names automatically. Right, so I create another sub procedure to transfer names. Now we need to do two things. We need to open the text file to read all the lines of it, which had all the exported content. And we also need to open the workbook where we need to add all the names. So we create two variables, dem txt file, let's say as string and txt file is nothing but active workbook dot path and a dot txt, which was our file. And I give another reference for the workbook file as workbook wb file I need actually another one to keep the name so wb file equals active workbook dot path and new workbook dot or new file dot whatever the name of file is new file dot xlsx that's the name actually so i keep that name here and dim wb file as string which is holding the path without any spaces okay so instead of keeping it here, we can keep it here to make it simple. Now what is actually workbook? So workbook is workbooks dot open wb file. So we open that workbook here. Now we will open the text file and we'll read the content one by one and then we'll inject all the names to that file. So open txt file for input. This is how we read line by line this text file as one. Okay. And since we open it, we also need to close it. So in the end, we'll close it. Now inside it, we need to iterate through all the lines. So to iterate through all the lines, what we need to do is while not end of file in this index one line input index one this goes to a variable named as x and then we create the name here in the workbook wb so wb dot names dot add this is how we are going to add the names so first we need to give the name which is equal to the left part of this which was there in the file we go to the file so this part will go to the name and the refer to value would be this part okay so what we need to do is if i am reading the content of this file line by line i have this piece of string okay what we need to do is we first need to remove these two things these two double quotes right after removing i need to split this string with a comma okay and the first part would be the name and second part would be the refer to value. 
right so this is what I'm going to do here first of all I'll replace the let's first put here let's first replace double quotes from that string now X is not holding any double quotes leading or trailing right then one what we need to do we need to use name so we use split function split X with a comma and first part would go here in the name right and then comma and refers to would be again split x comma using comma and first part of it right so this is how we are going to add the names and then once we are done we'll close it and i'm not closing the workbook what we can do later is we can use wb.close because if I close it, the, con the names that I have created here won't be saved. So it is important that you use wb.save before you close. So for now, we are not doing it. We just comment it and we'll keep that workbook open and we'll see whether it has created the names or not. So let's save it and run it. So it is giving some problem because we have used a while loop and there is no wind. So here this while loop ends and we run it again. So it says that we could not find this text file or this XLS file because the path was not correct. We need to use this and now it works. Let's go to formulas name manager and we have all the names again. Right, so this is very simple way how we can transfer the names, we can export the names and we can import the names. If you have any questions around how we can copy or move only specific names or maybe any other question that pops into your mind, do not forget to subscribe to my channel and also you can put your questions in the comment section. Thank you. See you later.